Hello guys, as you know the iOS 16 public beta is already released and I have uploaded comprehensive tutorial on that how to install iOS 16 public beta. If you want to install, I will put its link up in the cards and below in the description. As it's the public beta update, it does have some bugs. So many of you may want to go back to the previous iOS version you were on and remove iOS 16 beta. So in this video, I will guide you through on how to downgrade iOS 16 to iOS 15 without losing data. When the iOS 15 public beta came last year, I made an A to Z tutorial on downgrading that. This is that video, which is 15 minutes long and covers everything from A to Z to downgrade iOS without losing data. Downgrading iOS 16 to iOS 15 without losing data steps are similar to this video. So no need to make another tutorial on the same steps. I will link that video up and in the description below. All you need to do while going through this, you need to replace iOS 15 in that video with iOS 16 and iOS 14 with iOS 15 and that's it. But now I will go through it and show you what is covered in this video. Again, the link is mentioned below in the description. First, you need to go on ipsw.me website and download the currently signed version of your device. Whether it's iPhone or iPad, do not download any unsigned version as you cannot downgrade to unsigned version. And here we are downgrading iOS 16 to 15. So currently, the latest iOS signed version is iOS 15.5 download that in your case all these things are covered in that video in details first i have shown how to take complete backup of your device so we can restore that later and yes it's the backup taken on a higher ios version and we will restore it back in the lower ios version and more things are mentioned in details here is another screenshot from that video where the downgrade iOS 16 to 15 without losing data process is started and here it is when the downgrade is done. Now after the device's initial setup, the video shows how to restore the data backup taken on iOS 16 in the iOS 15. And yes, both Windows and Mac processes are shown in this video. It is not done easily. The restore is not done easily. Files need to be modified for it and everything is shown step by step. The windows process is covered first. This is the windows process and when you are following it, here at this stage, here you can see it's showing 15.0 in my case, but in your case, you will see 16.0 here. Just change that to 15.0. After that, another step is involved to restore backup after downgrading iOS 16 to iOS 15. Let's just move on the Mac part. This is the Mac part. Same here, in this file, you need to change 16 to 15. All the things are shown in that video, the link is below in the description. Changing the version number is compulsory to restore the backup, otherwise you will not be able to restore the data backup. So now, go and watch that tutorial to downgrade iOS 16 to 15 without losing data.